So apparently ImageLine decided to give us an update and didn't tell anybody for like a three whole days. So I'm, you know, still sitting over here being a peasant over on FL21 while everybody else is over here on FL24. And I really had no idea. I mean, they didn't even tell us over here in the update notes until the first. And the update came out on June 26th. This is honestly grounds to go ahead and switch back to Ableton. I mean, at least everyone knows when Ableton gets an update, right? Not really, but all saltiness aside, I was generally kind of unimpressed by this update, so I'm going to give you my brutally honest opinion on the new FL24 update and kind of go over some of the features that I like, some of the ones I don't like, and hopefully you'll know quite a bit more than I did the day before I finally got my update. <laughs> So first off, they added in this new startup screen that looks like Pro Tools or something. Um, why they did, I'm not entirely sure. It's probably helpful. I went ahead and disabled it on mine and I can't figure out how to turn it back on. So here's what it looks like on the release video they did for it. But I guess it's handy if you want to change your template or something at the startup versus having to hit file and find it. I don't really care either way. I mean, it's cool to have, I guess, but I intentionally hit do not show again just so I can get loaded right into my default template. Next up, they changed this new graphical rendering to this new blend 2D vector graphics to me it almost feels like they've made it feel a little cheaper for some reason i know they changed the default color here and of course this might just be the way the graphics render uh the color through here was is actually a slightly like brighter kind of color compared to fl21 and everything before it i know i've had fl21 since it dropped last year and to me it's kind of like throwing my eyes off just because there's a tiny color difference i mean i know it's just very tiny but you know if you look at something for several hours per week you're gonna notice <laughs> you're gonna notice this one has been changed of course you know if you use skins that's really a non-issue i used to use skins but i've really just been digging the default fl look lately also i'm not gonna lie i'm not too happy they ruined my colors here um now the pan is blue and volume is green for for almost five years of me using FL. As we know, this was purple and this was blue. So, you know, once again, not really a non-issue, but why did they have to change it? <laughs> Maybe they ought to let us fully customize knob colors in the future or something, just so I can get my colors back. They've also added this little clock now that shows you when plugins are loading. I'm not sure why, but cool <laughs> i mean you know most of us know that it's loading i don't know maybe if it crashes or if it's just not loading it won't show it or something that's about the only thing i could figure out that would be helpful for it is to show hey you know it's loading versus it's crashed um i mean you know we kind of know if it's not loaded it's loading so i don't know you know it's just something to be picky about i guess it's cool i guess <laughs> whatever also they've changed the license stuff in the top left corner they no longer show your full name uh they show what they call the license plate here and usually i have this whole section cut out in my video just because I have a widescreen monitor and you know I want to show as much of the playlist and everything as I can I usually cut out the browser so no team r2r for me but your days are numbered if you are still team r2r <laughs> next up in Edison they added this new AI vocal denoise and vocal isolator it's the same algorithm as doing the split the stems and just getting the vocals out of that uh, I suppose it could be handy to do but of course the AI vocal still doesn't sound 100% the best right now but but the interesting thing about this is anything that is not vocal is considered noise. So I can show you right here. I've got just some noise of me whistling and then some like check checks into the mic. So if we listen to it. Check, check, testing, check. So if we go 100% to noise, let's listen to it. So you can hear it's cutting out the vocals. And if we do 100% vocal, check check testing check that one actually doesn't sound too too bad just because it's getting rid of background noise you can hear there's some kind of high-end stuff going on here check check testing check and you can hear that there's still just some noise there but overall it does do a decent job of getting rid of it i probably wouldn't stop using the other cleanup denoise function over that it really does quite a bit of better job in my opinion but that is now available if you want to use it also just to show you that the vocal isolation is indeed the exact same as the split the stems function i've isolated the vocals through the stem and through edison and i will flip the polarity to show you that they 100 percent cancel out I wanna know. So we've got nothing but silence and that means that it is indeed the exact 100% same waveform here. If it weren't, we would have some sort of noise or audio indicating that there was a difference. So me personally, I would probably just go ahead and use the separate the stems function, but that's there if you want to use it cool. If not, 
you don't have to. <laughs> All right, let's make our way over to the piano roll now. Uh, whenever I first opened it up, it just felt to me that something was off on it. I don't know if they've changed some sort of sizes or something. I don't believe they have, but it just looks a little bit different to me in this update for some reason. So new piano roll features. We have a new chord generator and a new note repeat function. So we'll go ahead and touch on the note repeat function here. It's just a knob in the note properties here. And as you can see, as we turn the knob here, it tells us in the top left what the repeat value is going to be. So we could do 16th triplet here, a 64th note, or we could change this down to eighth which is what it's already set to. Honestly, that's not a big feature to me. I probably will still just be drawing everything in, painting it in just so I can have velocity control. So that is handy if you like using the graph editor over here. I typically don't, but you know, you can just come over here and click some rolls in on your notes and it'll save you quite a bit of time and you don't have to go into the piano roll to do so. Next up, we have our lovely chord generator. I've messed around with it a little bit. It's pretty cool, but ultimately, I feel like you're gonna have to go back and adjust some stuff or tweak it yourself if you don't want it sounding like some sort of cheesy progression. They give you full flexibility here. You can change the circle of fifths chord progression here. You can change the rhythm or you can type something in. I've messed around here. You have to right click on this to change the key and the scale here. So if we wanna do F, let's say minor pentatonic, generate. So I would probably never use that chord progression for a beat. However, I do like using this conventional and adventurous slider here. You can see what kind of crazy stuff it adds here. Now I might use that in a beat actually, but probably not the conventional. Okay, I like that one. I would actually probably use this progression. I'm gonna add this and save this project. I might use it. <laughs> I like that. That's a cool progression. I'm gonna have to actually turn this into a beat after this. This is pretty <laughs> pretty fire i'm not gonna lie so yeah that is the chord generator uh nothing too too insane with it you can change all these metrics and stuff if you want to make it kind of sound more realistic or not realistic at all all kinds of crazy advanced stuff that i really don't know anything about but i'm sure you could have fun messing with all right so now the fun stuff of this update that i actually really like they gave us three new plugins a built-in stereo imaging plugin a default stereo imaging plugin called spreader The big advantage to this is that you have a low bypass or a mono maker as several plugins call it. You can come over here and click mono and force your low end to be mono. So that's really handy for sound designing bass or 808s where you want to have some wide stereo top end, but you want to keep that middle mono and right down the line. They also gave us this new plugin called Low Lifter. From what I've heard and seen, it's like Waves R bass. You can use it to set up and generate harmonics on your bass frequencies. It's very subtle on the very, very low end of sounds that don't have much sub frequencies. Overall, this would be a lot more handy for something like a bass guitar or 808. Obviously, using it on a piano is not going to do much, but it's going to be a cool plugin to use, and I'm sure you could do some cool sound design with it. And it's going to be a great alternative if you don't have some sort of bass shaping plugin like Waves R Bass. And lastly, they gave us a new synth plugin called Kepler XO. It is a stock remake of the Roland Juno that is only fully available in the All Plugins bundle. You could totally isolate your melodies out to audio and stuff, but you cannot save and reopen this plugin and i really don't know too too much about the juno itself i know a little bit about some other synths but there's some all right presets in here you could totally make some fire melodies with
Yeah, so if you know quite a bit more about sound design and stuff, I'm sure you'll have a field day with this. I know a little bit, but not a whole lot. I generally know how synthesizers work and I could probably figure this out, but I would probably use it and make, like I said, make sure you bounce it out to audio so you can still use it and reload the plugin. And lastly, FL is giving you 10 free plugins through FL Cloud. If you'll come over here and hit tools and then come down to plugins, it brings up this new window called FL Cloud. It's an entirely different launcher that comes up and you'll probably have to sign in and then it should automatically come up and load you into this free filter here and these are 10 new plugins you can get completely for free just because you own FL Studio and lastly the moment we've all been waiting for my favorite feature of this update we now have a shortcut for making stuff unique all we have to do is grab our pattern and hold shift and V to pull it out and as we have here pattern 2 uh, you know you can completely change this don't have pattern 1 3 2 4 I find that this is gonna be really helpful here for audio of course so say I want to have a different ending on this part of my tag here all I have to do is drag it out while holding V to automatically make it unique as you can see we have hashtag 2 here and everything of course works the same way if you have it routed it will still route to that same mixer track and hold all the other properties here but it will now be unique I did forget to mention there is a new feature to sync your previewed sounds in the browser to the time and key of your project this will definitely come in handy if you like to use a lot of loops and mix and match stuff throughout a project that's about everything I'm going to show for this update they've added some updates to the new AI mastering here as you can see we have some new parameter tuning here I can't use any of it because I've got the free FL cloud but if this is something you plan on using I'm sure it will be more than helpful to have all these new options available to you thank you all for watching if you've enjoyed please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let me know what's your new favorite features in the new FL studio 24 update I just started a grouped community so be sure to check that out and subscribe to that down below and be sure to check out all the rest of my links down below in the description as well thank you all for watching my name is cj aka cjink have a good whatever time of day you're watching this and god bless